Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to apply a credit in QuickBooks Online and I'll also go through why you will be applying a credit to a customer in QuickBooks Online. Our client or customer to have a credit on their account it means that they've had they bought goods from you but something was bad something was off and they for some for some reason or the other they had to return the item to you but because they are returning customer they said to you well although i sent you back the stuff and obviously i've paid the invoice already you can apply the credit to a future invoice because i'm going to have to pay you next month for something else or i always come back so definitely leave the credit on my account and that's why you would end up having a credit from a customer on their account because you're not giving them back the physical money you are actually putting the credit on on their account and when they buy something from you again then you apply the credit now for this particular scenario pausing medical supplies they came in they bought stuff from us right they overpaid on their invoice and they ended up having a credit memo right so i create had to create a credit memo for the stuff that they returned but when i apply the credit in quickbooks they didn't apply the credit to the correct invoice so it's quickbooks what quickbooks does is that when the credit is applied to an invoice they apply the credit to the very first invoice so they apply the credit to this invoice which it really and truly it was supposed to be for this particular invoice here the middle one here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the invoice that the credit was applied to i'm going to go into you see where to see receive payments on the here it has one payment made i'm going to click on that and then i'm going to select this over here where it has a date now the credit was not supposed to be for this invoice it was supposed to be for this invoice so i'm going to unselect the first invoice and i'm going to select for this one but as you can see it put the entire amount there i'm going to make sure it's 750 dollars so i put 750 here and the payment is with this credit here good now it's a credit so i don't need to put in an amount received because no money was received and i don't need to put in a payment method or anything up here i just am um, applying the credit to the account to the particular invoice so then once that is selected and i will go down here you can either click save and close or save a new if you want to receive another payment or apply a different credit you if you want to do that you could come in here and click save and new, but I'm going to click save and close. The transaction you are editing is linked to other accounts. Are you sure you want to modify it? Yes, I do want to modify it. Now the credit has been applied to the correct invoice. So as you can see down here, the still owes the amount, the total and the balance is the same thing. And the one above, which is where we apply the credit to, it the credit was applied here because you can see the total was three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars and now it has a balance of three thousand dollars now that's how you apply a credit to an invoice to a particular invoice in quickbooks online always make sure that when you create a credit memo in quickbooks online that you go in and you make sure that it is the right invoice that the credit is being applied to whenever I quit it before I go before I end this video whenever a customer is paying you for invoices let's say this customer have more than one invoice in your system always make sure that they send a list of the invoices it's called a remittance advice or at least a list they don't even have to always have send a remittance advice we don't always do that um, with the companies that I work for um my clients all just at least we get a list of the invoices being paid and once we know the invoices that are being paid then we have that in our system so that a customer doesn't 
think that they they sent money for a particular invoice but you applied it to whichever invoice you decided to apply it to it does not work like that the customer has to say where where their money is being spent on your system basically i hope that helps you and it clears up some stuff especially when you're dealing with clients and receiving payments always make sure that the client does say what is being paid all right so thank you for watching in other videos i'll show you how to do different things in quickbooks online and if you have a particular video you would like to be recorded you have a particular question definitely put it in the comment section of this video and i'll make the video for you and if you have not gone through my quickbooks online account setting up your account in quickbooks online Make sure you do that to make sure that your accounts are your quickbooks account is set up properly you can record in your transactions properly every single month thank you bye bye